Welcome back guys to your part 3 tutorial of linear layout. In the last video we discussed about Android layout gravity. Now in this tutorial I am going to demonstrate about the Android gravity attribute of the linear layout. Now let me show you directly in the Eclipse IDE itself. Now in the Eclipse in the activity main.xml I am having a simple linear layout without any widgets inside it. Now go to the graphical layout and let us drag a text view inside it. Now in the last video we shifted this whole layout of text view here and there both in the horizontal and vertical screen orientation of the linear layout. Now in this video I will show you how you can shift the content of the layout of text view within the layout of this widget. Now what do I mean? Just now I will show you. Go to the activity main.xml. Now here our width and height are actually wrap content. Now do one thing. Let's say make it 200 dp. Right? Height again 200 dp. Now go to the graphical layout. Here you can watch out the layout of the text view is 200 dp wide and 200 dp in height. Now inside this layout we are having the content of the text view. We are having this text text view. Now do one thing. Let me make it more clear. Change the text to position, right? Now in our graphical layout, our text is now position. Position is contained within the layout of this text view. Now we will check how the gravity attribute works. Now we are now going to add an attribute. Let's say gravity. In the last video, we learned about layout gravity. Now it's time for gravity. Just double click on it. Let us write bottom. Now go to the graphical layout. You can see our text position has aligned itself within this layout only at the bottom side of this layout. Now it doesn't matter that your orientation is horizontal or vertical. If you change it to vertical then also it will be aligned at the bottom side of this layout because the attribute gravity do not depends on the orientation. Please make a note of it. Now let me rearrange our eclipse. Let's do one thing. Shift it to right side. Right now at the left hand side of the screen I'm displaying an image to make your concept more clear. Let us zoom it. Let it be like this only right now. Now here you can see an outline tab and below it I'm having the property of the text view. Now you can change all the properties of activity main.xml directly from here itself right. Now let us change the gravity of this text view. Let us go down. Here we have changed the gravity to bottom. Now let's do one thing. Change it to center. Right? Now see our gravity of text view is now center. And simultaneously our text position has aligned itself at the center of this layout. Right? Now you can check out all other attributes that we can add to the attribute gravity right top bottom left right center vertical fill vertical blah 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 whatever you can write. Now what if if you want your text view to be aligned right here. Now how you can define its value. It is quite simple. It is present at the bottom and right hand side of the screen. So do one thing just type bottom then use the pipe sign then use right right now here we go now you can see the position text has aligned itself at the right bottom and right side of this layout so accordingly you can change the position of the text within this text view layout now guys again you don't have to learn all this attribute just watch the tutorial carefully what I'm explaining I will show you the live demonstration when we will continue our make your app tutorial of Android interview in few tutorials later now guys you can check out the other parameters also you can play with it experiment with it and learn new concepts. Now the question arises what is the difference between the gravity and the layout gravity. Now in the last video we saw layout gravity in the layout gravity we discussed horizontal and vertical orientation of the linear layout how the whole layout was moving up and down. Now if you notice 
In case of layout gravity, our whole layout along with the content of the text view layout was moving ups and downs or from left to right, right? But in this video we saw in case of gravity, our text view was 200 dp, in case our width and height was wrap content but here our layout width and layout height was 200 dp and we are not moving this whole big blue box of text view ups and down or left to right we are just moving the content of the text view inside it either from top center center bottom or right bottom right whatever so in case of layout gravity we are moving the whole layout but in case of gravity we are just moving the content of the layout fine so this depicts the difference between the layout gravity and the gravity in linear layout now let us proceed now let us summarize our gravity attribute in linear layout either you can use the values like top center center vertical right bottom etc etc to to align your content of the text view from here to there or there to here whatever you want to and you can also use the combos of the values top then it is a pipe sign then right so it will align your text align your text at the top right of the screen if you use center right then at the center right of the screen your text will appear here similarly bottom right of the screen center bottom of the screen in this way you can use many combos of values so as to align your text anywhere you want to so this is all about the attribute gravity in the next video we are going to talk about layout weight and weight sum in the linear layout so hope you guys got something out of it so please subscribe to my channel and do share my video this is Shrek from smart Heart signing off and thanks for watching and have a good day